Okay, coming to you live from the East Orange Mac Fest, we have... Shippy for Sheree. Tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm an author. I, uh, I specialize in children's books as well as the adult fiction. Uh, the book that I have here today is called Mr. Obama Hates Lasagna, and I don't like vegetables. The fifth grade food challenge. Uh, the fifth grade food challenge. Uh, and this book is basically about children. They are in a contest where they're competing to go to the White House to uh, compete in Mrs. Obama's fifth grade food challenge. So it goes over all the regular ups and downs, woes, boys and girls, all the things you go through. Uh, that's one of the books. Uh, this is one that will be coming out this summer. Geared towards black superheroes. The Crazy Adventures of Boy Awesome. That will be out this summer. It's also on my website uh, that I gave you, shoutshopbazaar.com. Now the Lynching series is a little bit more serious. The Lynching series is a little bit more serious. Uh, this is a book, a poetic rendition of stories that we know so well, others not as well. About so many of our young boys that have been murdered in cold blood and never received justice. If you're familiar with uh, Black Wall Street, that's there. Uh, Trayvon Martin, Sean Bell, Mary Turner, an assortment of you know black, uh, our black youth that have been murdered and never received justice. I'm a poet, an author, as well as a public speaker. And you know, I appreciate you stopping by and giving us a shout out. And I also want to give a shout out to Hip Hop, Heritage Hip Hop. Thank you so much, brother. And I love his shirt. You guys have got to see this shirt that he has on. Show him the shirt. You got to show him the shirt now. You got to show him the shirt. These are all of my idols here. <laughs> yeah. So let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. How important is it for the voices of the people to be heard and for us to write our own stories? It's extremely important because if we don't write our stories, who will? As we see over history, like literally they just had um, uh, Roots, the, the remaking of Roots. It's always going to be their version. If we're not doing it, it's going to be their version. You have the new show Underground, which is a different version of people talking about slaves that fought and fought for their rights. But you know the things that they teach. All we know is what they teach. But our children only know what they taught us. And as you know, there were a lot of black people doing a lot of black things at that time. They were fighting for their uh, rights. They were, you know, they were running away. It wasn't just this old, old massa, you know, don't don't hang me type situation. So I think it's very important that even goes today. Mrs. Obama, we may not ever have another black first lady, literally. And if we do, it can be thousands of years. So this is one of those things you want to have on the coffee table. You want your kids to say, oh, wow, if it's 100 years from now, wow, Mrs. Obama, oh, we had a black first lady. Same thing with the lynching series. So many of our children have no idea who any of these people are. And it, it's sad. So I tell, I recommend this as a coffee table book. You want your children to come open this up and say, wow, okay, I, I Black Wall Street. I never knew about Mary Turner. I never knew about, you know, what actually took place in, uh, in the slave before we got here. What happened on the boat? How many of us died? I have a poem in this book about how many of us died on the boat, were thrown overboard. So, to answer your question, I think it's extremely important that we write our own stories. How can people get in touch with you and how can they purchase the books? Okay, I am available at Amazon.com, the ebook as well as the uh, hard copy. Uh, also, my website, shoshopbazaar.com. That's your most wanted. Uh, author for a public speaker, and you can also reach me at my email for the prevention series or shapiko.sharif at yahoo.com. All right, thank you very much, and much continued success to you. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank Have you. a wonderful day.